friends, this is Shraddha and welcome to my channel called as Ollie Learners and Wild Trainers. And today's topic is going to be review about a book called as uh, How to Teach Your Child to Read by Glenn Norman. So I think uh, around 1970s and 1980s this book had got a lot of selling and still now it is the best selling on the New York Times. And uh, this book is quite interesting because it makes every parent believe that their child is a genius. This book is something I personally prefer or like because this book gives you immense confidence in your child that your child is not just a child but a genius. If you start reading this book, you will see on every aspect or every page, Glenn Norman and his uh, teammates are always encouraging the parents to be the best teacher of their child. Uh, since I have grown or since our generation has grown, we have always seen that we always give importance to the teachers who are not our parents, someone who is outside, outsider. And then we always say that, uh, how can I teach my child? Uh, so and so uh, is a teacher and she will teach. But this person, Glenn Norman and his entire crew has explained why a mother or why a father can become the best teachers of their kids uh, by giving some examples like the neurological examples or the biological examples and that really makes you believe that no, for my child I am the best teacher. Like I have to take extra efforts so that I can convey some things to my child. If you start reading this book, the entire half of the section is to tell you how genius your baby is and how important you are in their life. You know, when we start uh, our parenting journey, when we become a parent, uh, never is a case where parents get appreciation. You are always told by someone that you are not doing something right. You are always told that you are doing this wrong. But Glenn Dorman's book is the only book I have found which motivates and tells us that you know you are the best parent for your child. That whatever you are doing for your child should be best. And also he explains what are the things that you could be doing wrong and what are the things that you must do so that your parenting journey, journey goes very smooth. So uh, this is some, uh, something which is very crucial, like whenever you open a Glenn Dorman's book, the only thing you find is you get motivated, that you feel that wow, I am a parent. This is something which I have never experienced in Asian societies and I'm not sure about European and US societies, but overall looking at the US groups, uh, Facebook groups and every group that I am on, I feel that parents are always criticized of being parents, they're always criticized like oh god or you should be doing this for your child and you are not doing it correctly or whatever you do is always criticized but Glenn Dorman's book is something which criticizes a parent not in a bad way but in a good way that what you should be doing with your child and why you should treat your child as a special child or as a you know as a very important adult even when they are just tiny like zero months old whatever Glenn Norman speaks in his book is quite practical and quite makes sense like for example he mentions the thing that whenever you start teaching your child to read if the child is between 0 to 6 months it is going to be very easy when the child is 6 to 12 still easy 1 to 2 little bit difficult after 2 more difficult 4 5 6 very difficult now these are the age when children are really not exposed to junior kg or senior kg like 0 to 3. From 2 and a half years they start their preschool and till that time they have already lost a lot of time in other stuff. I don't say that they are not educational but some things like reading or writing or speaking is something that makes human beings different. So why these things are important are explained in that book. and. Uh, so whatever he says that you know it's quite easy to train a 0 to 2 child. I have experienced this myself like when I started um, flashcards with my child who was 0 months old it was very easy. When he, when he was 6 months still easy. When he became 9 months it became a little difficult. When it became, when he became like 14 months it's very difficult. So you can just imagine the parents who are starting the journey at age of 2 or 3. It is going to be a little difficult. And these things are clearly mentioned by Glenn Norman. That when your child is 3 years old, please do not show him flashcards. Just start showing him or her some good books. 
सो दीज आर सम माइक्रो टिप्स दैट ग्लिंडा मिंग गिव्स एंड दे आर एब्सोल्यूटली वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड ओनली थिंग आई फील इज वाई एवरी मदर हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम आ मॉम प्रेनर और मॉम इन्फ्लुएंसर इज कमिंग फॉरवर्ड एंड एक्सप्रेसिंग अब ग्लैंड डॉमेन एंड वाई एवरी वूमन इज कन्वेंग समथिंग डिफरेंट और समटाइम्स समथिंग सेम इज बिकॉज द लैंग्वेज दैट ग्लैंड डॉमेन हैज मैंशन इन द बुक इज रियली वेरी वेरी ओल्ड आई वुड से बिकॉज द बुक वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी और नाइनटीन सेवेंटी अप्रॉक्स दैट टाइम सो दैट टाइम द इंग्लिश वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट इट वॉज नॉट द वे वी स्पीक सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट ही मीन्स इट इज अ लिटल बिट ट्रिकी सो एवरी मदर हू रीड्स इट विल हैव अर ओन लॉजिक विल हैव अर ओन परस्पेक्टिव एंड दैट्स वाई वी हैव सो मेनी मॉम इन्फ्लुएंस आर सेंग ग्लैन डॉमेंट बट सेंग सो मेनी थिंग्स डिफरेंटली सो आइडियली इट इज ईजियर फॉर यू टू परचेस अ बुक फ्रॉम एमेजॉन विच द लिंक आई वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन ऑलवेज to uh, listen to my videos or other mom trainers uh, videos and just get inspired and go with the flow either or the thing is choice is yours like what you want to do with it but blend on it is a very very great guy i would say because he is the only one who says that you are the best parent or you are the best teacher of your child and it really motivates and it really makes you feel that no i have to take extra efforts for my child and the way he has conveyed it makes you feel that yes you are special and you are a special so you have to invest more time in your child so overall this book if you want me to rate what is the rating out of 5 i would say it is 4.8 two points cut because of the english because the english is little bit uh, absolute i mean it is not the english that we speak these days the book is quite old uh you can see spencer domin he his website is there and he is quite making the uh, like the like the book that his grandfather has written he is making that book in a very simple terms and he's explaining things in a very simple way so sometimes whenever you are in doubt you can always go and check his website or uh, spencer domin see uh, domin people are very much strict in copyrights so please don't come and ask me can you give me the free print outs and all the stuff see a lot of copyrighted and all the stuff are available on the net you can search it for yourself but glen domain uh, the entire institution is very strict and they are quite um, i would say they are quite responsible because they feel that the parent should not be misguided by some wrong people so whenever we say glen domain ex uh, the like glen domain inspired it's really something we have read but sometimes the information can get diluted so it is always good that you have your first hand experience by reading those books but please do not use those books and uh, claim it that it is your content because glen domain and the institution is aware of whatever you are doing and we including me should not fall in any trouble so this book is really nice but do not use it for your own purpose by selling those you know snippets or selling the word that glen domain is saying on your name because they know only glen domain has said it so just be authentic read the matter correctly explain it correctly and uh, do it in a right way with your child and all the best for your journey bye bye